welcome student teachers to the course knowledge and curriculum we are here in the second unit the concept and nature of curriculum and this is the third module which talks about types of curriculum this is dr v girija professor and head department of school of education phase institute of science technology and advanced study chennai the uh, uh, i mean module name is types of curriculum and as we all know curriculum is an educational setting which acts as the main factor that determines the learning outcomes it plays an important in defining the topic and the instructional methodologies of a learning process there are multiple types of learning curriculum available for the students and the curriculum plays a vital role in determining what a student learns during the course of his or her education the types of curriculum can be broadly presented as traditional or subject centered curriculum the activity curriculum the experience curriculum the undifferentiated curriculum the basic education curriculum physical environment social environment and craft and societal curriculum social curriculum are the hidden or covert curriculum and the learner centered curriculum let us look in detail about into the subject centered curriculum this model the subject centered model curriculum focuses on the content of the curriculum the subject centered design corresponds mostly of the textbooks written for the specific subject henry morrison and william harris are the very few curricularists who were firm believers of this design in this instance schools divide the school hours to different subjects such as reading grammar literature mathematics science history and geography and examples of the subject centered curriculum are included below like what subjects are you teaching and what subjects are you taking these sample questions to which the teacher and the learner can easily give an answer it is so because they are familiar with the subject design curriculum the subject design curriculum is the oldest and so far the most familiar design for teachers parents and other laymen according to the advocates subject design has an advantage because it is easier easy to deliver now let us move on to a quick glimpse of discipline design discipline design in this curriculum model it is related to the subject design again however while subject design centers only on the cluster of the content discipline design focuses on the academic disciplines discipline refers to specific knowledge learned through a method which the scholars use to study a specific content field students in history should learn how biologists learn and so with students in mathematics should learn how mathematician learn in the same manner teachers should teach how the scholars in the discipline will convey the particular knowledge the discipline design model of curriculum is often used in college but not in the elementary or secondary levels so from the subject centered curriculum curriculum moves higher to discipline when the students are more mature and are already moving towards their career path or disciplines as science mathematics psychology humanities history and others discipline becomes the degree program now let us move on to correlation design this comes again from the core correlated curriculum design that links separate subject designs in order to reduce fragmentation subjects are related to one another but each subject maintains its identity for example english literature and social studies correlate well with elementary education in the elementary level in the two subjects while history is being studied different literary pieces during the historical periods are being studied the same is true when science becomes the core mathematics is related to it as they are taken in chemistry physics and biology another example is literature as the core and art music history geography will be related to it to use correlated design teachers should come together and plan their lessons cooperatively broad field design or interdisciplinary broad field or interdisciplinary design is a variation of the subject centered design this design was made to prevent the compartmentalization of subject and integrate the contents that are related to each other thus subjects such as geography economics political science anthropology sociology and history are fused into one subject called social studies languages will include grammar literature linguistics spelling and composition learner centered curriculum among the progressive educational psychologists the learner 
is the center of the educative process. This emphasizes uh, this emphasis is very strong in the elementary level. However, more concern has been placed on the secondary and even at the tertiary levels. Although in high school the subject or content has become the focus and in the college level the discipline is the center. Both levels still recognize the importance of the learner in the curriculum and here are the some examples of the learner centered designs. Before which we shall also look into child centered design. This design is often attributed to the influence of John Dewey, Rousseau, Pestolozzi and Froebel and the curriculum design is anchored on the needs and interests of the child. The learner is not who engages with his or her engagement. One learns by doing and learners actively create construct meanings and understanding as viewed by the constructivists. In the child-centered design, learners interact with the teachers and the environment. Thus, there is a collaborative effort on both sides to plan lessons, select content and do activities together. Learning is a product of the child's interaction with the environment. Experience-centered this design is similar to the child-centered design. Although the child remains to be the focus, experience-centered design believes that the interests and needs of learners cannot be pre-planned. Instead of experiences of the learners become the starting point of the curriculum, thus the school environment is left open and free. Learners are made to choose from various activities that the teacher provides and the learners are empowered to shape their own learning from the different opportunities given by the teacher. In a school where experience-centered curriculum is provided, different learning centers are found. Time is flexible and children are free to make options. Activities revolve around the different emphasis such as touching, feeling, imagining, constructing, relating and other. The emergence of multiple intelligence theory blends well with experience-centered design curriculum. Humanistic designs the key lead personalities in this curriculum design are Abraham Maslow and Carl Rogers. Maslow's theory of self-actualization explains that a person who achieves this level is accepting of self, others and nature, is simple, spontaneous and nature and is open to different experiences, experience, possesses empathy and sympathy towards the less fortunate among many others. The person can achieve this state of self-actualization later in life but has to start the process while still in school. Carl Rogers on the other hand believed that a person can enhance self-directed learning by improving self-understanding and basic attitudes to guide behavior. In a humanistic curriculum, the development of self is the ultimate objective of learning and it stresses the whole person and the integration of thinking, feeling and doing. It considers the cognitive, affective and psychomotor domains to be interconnected and must be addressed in the curriculum. It stresses the development of positive concept and self and interpersonal skills. Problem-Centered Curriculum Generally, problem-centered design draws on social problems, needs, interests and abilities of the learners. Various problems are given emphasis. There are those that center on life situations, contemporary life problems, areas of living and many others. In this curriculum, content cuts across subject boundaries and must be based on the needs, concerns and abilities of the students. Life situation designs is what makes the design unique is that the contents are organized in ways that allow students to clearly view problems, problem areas clearly. It uses the past and the present experiences of learners as a means to analyze the basic areas of living. As a starting point, the pressing immediate problem of the society and the students' existing concerns are utilized. Based on Herbert, Herbert Spencer's curriculum writing, his emphasis were activities that sustain life, enhance life, aid in rearing children, maintain the individual social and political relations, and enhance leisure, tasks, and feelings. The connection of subject matter to real situations increases the relevance of the curriculum. Code design. Another example of problem-centered design is code design. It centers on general education and the problems are based on common human activities. The central focus of the code design includes the common needs, problems and concerns of the learners and popularized by Founts and Bossing in 1959, 
they presented ways on how to proceed following a core design of a curriculum as follows. The problem is selected by either by teacher or by student. A group agreement is made to identify the important problems and interests of the class. Areas of study are decided including dividing the class, needed information is listed and discussed, resources for obtaining information are listed and discussed, information is obtained and uh, organized, information is analyzed and interpreted, tentative conclusions are stated and tested, a report is presented to the class on an individual group and conclusions are evaluated and new avenues of exploration toward further problem solving are examined. The term core curriculum assumes many meanings. Traditionally, it includes all required content areas in the school curriculum. More recently, the term core refers to the type of course such as general education, uh, united studies, common learning, social living and integral program. And regardless of the term that is employed in the school, the two ideas common to the concept of core are that they provide experiences needed by all youth and, uh, and the experiences cut across subject lines. The core curriculum deals problems of persistent and recurring deal with youth and of society irrespective of subject matter lines from martial may be down for the solution of the problems. Experiences have shown that core should occupy only portion of the school day. The objectives of core curriculum to provide a youth a common body of experience organized around personal and social problems to give boys and girls successful experience in solving problems which are real to them here and now, thus preparing them to solve future problems, to give youth experience which will lead them to become better citizens in a democracy, to increase the holding power of the secondary school by providing a program that has meaning for all and these are some of the needs of the core, core curriculum. Characteristics of core, core curriculum, core curriculum utilities, the problems, uh, of personal and social development uh, common to all youths, it develops these it develops these problems without reference to the traditional subject matter fields. It encourages the use of the problem solving technique to attack problems. These core issues are problems, not topics of subject matter, and it requires a wide variety of techniques and materials for their development. That is a provision for individual and group guidance and it provides for a scheme of organizing around the core, the majority of the teachers, the school in relation to dominant central purpose that of the school program around individual interest and purpose of supplementing the core. Let us look into the hidden and latent curriculum. The hidden curriculum can be defined as the lessons that are taught informally and usually unintentionally in a school system. These include behaviors, perspectives and attitudes that students pick up, pick up while they are at school. This is, con this is contrasted with the formal curriculum such as the courses and activities students participate in. A hidden curriculum is a side effect of an education which are learned but not openly intended such as the transmission of norms, values and beliefs conveyed in the classrooms and the social environment. Any learning experience may teach unintended lessons. Areas of hidden curriculum in our schools that mold perspectives of students deal with issues such as gender, morals, social class, stereotypes, cultural expectations, politics and language. Hidden curriculum is often found within the formal curriculum of a school and this may be partially in what is not taught. Various aspects of learning contribute to the success of the hidden curriculum including practices, procedures, school rules, relationships and structures. Within the context of hidden curriculum, it is suggested that elements like social class of the students that they come from and their academic achievement levels, social and academic life in schools, interactions within school and the environment, management and organizational preparations of the school, position of the teacher and the students in classroom and school environment should be properly taken into account during the process of character education. Teacher-centered curriculum. Here, the teacher plays a key, uh, key role in delivering the knowledge and skills to students. Compared to student-centered, this type does not consider the learning requirements or competencies of students. It is more about teachers and less about students' participation. 
Here, teachers play an authoritative role where they put forth learning methodologies that the student ought to follow. Also, in this curricula, since teachers have an upper hand, they have the opportunity to exhibit their talents and capabilities to deliver knowledge in the most effective way. Integrated curriculum, it is formulated by integrating two or more disciplines and these disciplines would have some similarities in terms of uh, themes and concepts and the child's capacity to apply what they learn in one context to another is enhanced by this method and this curriculum helps in the development of life skills among the students and they learn to deal with problems that are out of the discipline and also help in their holistic development. As mentioned above, each type of curriculum has its own purpose and might be followed by educators in one way or the other.